Mentorist. Now this is an app that much like Blinkist and all the other apps that have little summaries, provides little summaries in text form for you to read about various different types of books. But the main difference here is that it also adds a little action for you to be able to use or do so that you get the most out of that book. You get the most out of that learning. But how good is it at that? Let's jump in and find out. Okay, so you can see from the screen here, we've got a little prompt at 3.33 p.m. telling us to jump in and be like the top 5% of people. So, this is our daily focus, and I'm only using the one at the moment. So, have I been able to take the action steps needed, and if I evaluate myself, yes, I am doing it. There we go. So that is basically the little bit of mentorist that you'll use on a daily basis. Now you can have a whole bunch of action things and we're gonna go through those right now. So here we are at our home screen. Manage your energy, not your time. These are our action steps that we're gonna be taking for this. And I can add that then to the daily focus. So let's start. What will you do to improve your energy and be more productive? How will you remind yourself to take short breaks between work to remain productive? So you can add what you're going to do or what you plan to do into your daily thing. So what will I do to improve my energy? Let's say walk more. For our example, how will I remind myself to take short breaks? Alarm. And what is the allotted time each day for my exercise? One hour. Done. So every day at 6.32 because that's what the time is right now. And good. Congratulations, the first step's done. So now I can evaluate myself on that. Have I made any progress with that? Yes, I have. Blah, blah, blah. Continue. Excellent. Excellent. So I've got 25% on that. But if we then go to our daily focus, then I've got the two in there. So you can explore all different sorts of books. And then you've got your key insights here as well. You are not your mind. And there's one action available to help you with that, to get that point in. So become the watcher of the mind. So you can add that to your daily focus as well, in that as well. So now that's been added, if we go back to explore, you're not your mind, you can go through the little summary that they've got there for that. And then it goes straight to the next page on that as well. And the next action that you can take to help detach from the egoic mind. So it is a great little tool to not one, just give you that summary that you might forget. It shows you steps on how to be able to implement that into your life as well. While not video steps or anything like that, you can have your essentials here as well. It is a step above, I would say, most summary apps in that case, because most of them just, yep, here's your summary, here's the important points, blah, 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 and you forget them as soon as you hear them. This actually gets you to take those steps, even if you don't read the explanation or the little summary behind it, it's something that gets you thinking about how you're going. So it's more coaching rather than just learning. Putting those steps into practice, which makes you much more likely to actually follow through with them and makes it more beneficial for you. Now, if we go through, we can have a look and see that if we go back to exploring all different types of categories here as well. So philosophy and you've got heaps. Now pieces every step and all the actions that these various chapters have for you. So here, I hope as an obstacle, we've got four actions to choose from. We can do all of them or we can do none of them. Now this is not free either. So if I go to my profile, I haven't finished any books, but you've got insights read and actions read as well. And if we go into our thing here, pro member, invite friends, restore, change. We've got the normal stuff. So I'm a pro member at the moment. My thing will expire tomorrow. And I've just been exploring through and going through some of it. So for Mentorist, you're going to be paying 69 nice dollars a year, Australian. Probably very much cheaper than uh, but much cheaper in the US dollar stuff accordingly, but it's $69 Australian per year. Now in that too, just once again, it comes down to how much you're going to use it. Because we go back to it and what you want to get out of it. Because this is just like all the philosophy stuff, but you've got lifestyle, marketing, sales, audio, like there's heaps here that you can go into. Health and fitness, for instance, not as much, but then if you go into business, which it's much more aimed for, you've got heaps and heaps to go through. And you can go through your highlights, so you can select text and add it there, so you can get those little, even littler summaries in there. Just those little important bits, like that little quote there from Anthony Robbins. And then go to your daily focus and get there as well. It's 
all about motivation. So the thing is, does it work? I believe that yes, this one would. This would be worth paying for if you're looking for, like it's much cheaper than a coach. For 70 bucks a year, let's round it up. That's cheaper than like a session with a coach, more than likely. So you can go on, have these coaching things. It's not going to keep you accountable like a coach would, but if you're into that, then you're already doing it anyway. Keeping yourself accountable, going through and learning while you're doing it as well. And it comes down to how much you want to put into it as well. Like you saw there, I could just put little two word or one word answers there for that thing about getting up and doing more exercise with that. But once again, it comes down to what you want and what you're using it for. Is it for health? Is it for business? Is it for budgeting, money, philosophy, anything at all that they've got in those things there? If that's the case, then it's probably going to be very beneficial for you. I found this quite a unique idea and I think it's great because how often do you read a book but not implement anything in it? Here, it shows you the steps or how to implement it as well. Like I remember listening to the 80-20 rule and thinking, well, how do I implement this in a massage practice? Because 80% of my results, or what's going to give me 80% of my income, is still going to take up 80% of my time. Like, I'm sure, I could spend 20% of the time or whatever on the results that will give the 80% benefit or whatever else, but when you're looking at a time benefit like that, it doesn't work. So, the whole book, I just thought, no. We're here, it's probably even better in getting that. It's probably on there, too. I haven't actually checked that one. But being able to implement the 80-20 rule in various parts of your life for that benefit. And the app is very easy to use as well. So it's hard to get lost in and it's very basic, but it needs to be basic in that you can't get lost. You know what book you're on, you know what action steps to take, you know what questions you need to answer on that. So it's great. All up, like honestly, this one is an eight out of 10 and one that I would probably use myself because it seems like it is actually there to make a difference for you. But anyway guys, what do you think of Mentorist? Have you used Mentorist? Would you use Mentorist? Leave a comment down below. And remember to please like, share, comment, subscribe on this video. And I'll see you in the next one.